Well, hello there, YouTube. How's it going? This is Ali from the AI Enthusiast. So yeah, so today we're going to be talking about making presentation slides with AI. Um, this is an actual startup. So Tome or Tome, I'm not really sure how they're pronounced. Uh, they are an AI powered storytelling format software, formatting software uh, <laughs> that uh, they started, I believe, two years ago, two or three years ago at least from what I could see. Um, and yeah, they have they have quite a bit of employees and they, they're on their Series B, $43 million. And what, one thing I like about them compared to some of the other places that I found is that they actually you know allow you to try their product um, and they give you like an extended demo. And I'll show you right, right now actually what I mean by that. Yeah, so let's get started then. Uh, so Tome or beta.tome or tome.app is where you gotta go. So if I just delete this, you'll get to the, the URL. And you can see right away that you can just uh, try it, which I really enjoy that feature. <laughs> so you just go continue with Google. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my email. And yeah, so now they'll ask you to create a profile, but it's very minimal information compared to some of the other places or other other AI companies, they'll just ask you for a lot of things, right? So this is just, what should we call you? So you can call me the AI enthusiast. I'll I'll be fine with that. And then what is your role? So I'm just going to do this for personal reasons. It's really, um, uh, I want to show you guys, click next. And then workspace name, we could just say random. Or we could say, you know, sports. Let's do sports. And continue to workspace. All right, so uh, you can refer to earn credits and the way it works, at least for this application is the more credits you have, so then you can continue to use it. Uh, otherwise, you know, you, you will run out of credits. You start with, I think, 500. Uh, so you can see I have 500 credits right here. And they give you a lot of cool, like, or just several designs, right, to, to try uh, and, and build your, um, your, 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 your slide deck, really. So I'm just gonna do like free form, uh, just have nothing on the screen, excuse me. Uh, and yeah, so you can see you can import or just have a lot of different things added to a slide. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do create a page about. And yeah, so I was actually talking to my friend about how the Eagles lost the Super Bowl recently, which was a, which was a shame because um, I'm an Eagles fan. But uh, yeah, so I, I'm just going to do American sports. And actually, I'm going to say history of American sports. Let's see what it comes up with. So it's, it's going to generate a page. It's going to create text. It's going to create some sort of imagery. Um, and yeah, let's wait for it to load. But we can go ahead and look at the left-hand side. Uh, you can see how sports have played a significant role in American history form of entertainment, way to promote physical fitness. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is um, very, very interesting for sure. And it's, you know, of course, uh, as you are aware with AI, there's that aspect of responsibility that we'll be talking about in other videos of, of you know, not to blindly trust what AI gives you in terms of content. Um, so here's a good example, right? So, you know, although this seems pretty accurate, you know, I think I, you should still read it and then you should try to verify those facts. Um, and then on the right hand side, you can see that this is not actually children. You can see how there's um, a bit of a deformity in the image, but it does give you an idea of of the capabilities that we're, we're getting to with regards to generative AI. And and you'll see here, like, I mean, this could still pass as an image. Um, you could think of it as a form of art. And it is giving you an idea that there are some some kids or uh, young adults playing, playing some sort of sport. So then from here, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and click on new page. And uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll do the same thing really. But what I wanna do on this page is uh, you guessed it. I'm just going to ask it to generate another slide. Uh, you can do all sorts of cool things. You can import uh, different different resources from Miro. You got, you know, you got Miro, you got Twitter, you got uh, Airtable, you've got, uh, you know, including Dolly as well. So you can actually just generate images. Um, and so there's a lot of capability here. I'm just going to go ahead and create another page. And I'm going to say basketball in America 
from 1900 to 2023. Let's see what this gives us. So here we are, guys. It, it generated yet another interesting image. And this one is more cartoon-like, as you can see. Uh, and on the left-hand side, it gave a description of, of basketball. And uh, yeah, the modern era of basketball began in, in the 1950s and 1960s when the NBA and the ABA leagues were established. So I'm not sure if that's true, but I would go and fact check it, right? Uh, but yeah, you can see how this can be a great way for you to, you know, if you have like writer's block, I think that's what they call it. Uh, if you have if you have slide creators block uh, and you need just to get an idea going, uh, this is a great way to get started and then leverage the other tools that are available to you to really get a finished product out uh, for, re for your presentations. It could be for school. It could be for a lot of different things. Of course, remember, guys, be responsible with the AI technology that you're using. And yeah, that's it for this uh, for this tutorial. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.